Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We're going to continue with Ozymandias, the Aram Elementalist today. And it's been a little while since I played this, so let's just take a look at what, where we are. Uh, lightning Bolt seems to be fairly castable, as well as Summon Lightning Spire. That will more or less take us through the lair and the orcish mines. Um, but there is a gaping hole in the game of Oz Ozymandias at the moment, and that is uh, lightning resistant uh, creatures. So we need some sort of other damage spell. Let's take a look at what we can memorize. We have the option of canine familiars, ice beasts, hmm. Just for now, just in case we need them, we'll get some canine familiars. And I believe they nerfed the spell. Uh, yes, they certainly did. I can only apparently summon one canine from familiar, which is not going to be terribly useful. I can't believe I have four books and nothing better than this. And I am worshipping Sifmuna, so we can get rid of this spell when we need to. Okay, um, as far as our inventory goes, we have uh, Artifact Axe, which gives us a little bit of a buff, that's good enough. We have our trusty Poison Javelins, which were so useful in the early game, but probably not very useful now. We have Wand of Hasting, and some various other evocables of varying usefulness. Uh, we have a Cursed Ring of Teleportations, some Rotting Chunks, which we will promptly drop on the ground, and a bunch of unidentified potions. Also of note, we have a Buckler, which is a good thing to have. And we are training Shields and Charms. I think we may have trained Charms up to... yes, we have. We really don't need much more in the way of Charms. We will get a little more summonings, though. Just to make our Lightning Spire a little better. Okay, um, I'm also going to drop the Wand of Magic Darts. That's not going to be very useful. So down we go. We'll bring our trusty canine with us. And back up. Let's get a Lightning Spire in on the battlefield here. And... Uh, Start zapping. That made short work of them. Excellent. There is a scroll of identify. We're going to need quite a few of these. Look at all these potions. I'm going to take a wild guess and we'll go for Z here. Lignification. Um, which is not one of the best potions around. Oh! Our canine did some pretty good work there. It only took... Uh, let's get a lightning spire up immediately before we lose mana and we'll also get a canine up. And with our last mana we might as well zap a lightning bolt of our own. And we're out of mana. We'll instruct our summons to attack and we have drawn just about everything in the dungeon after us now luckily our canine has provided us with an easy escape looks like we have some kobolds spawning up here back down Fanar simply has to die He's been a thorn in my side for far too long. I seem to vaguely recall him being a thorn in my side last video. Uh, and such is my zeal to kill him that I'm just going to ignore that skeleton. There he is. Okay. It's probably not best to be immediately astride him in melee range. But we can probably do something with a canine here. And, of course, lightning, which we hope to double zap. 
As long as we can avoid his cold attacks. And keep that lightning on him. Excellent. Ow. I didn't take that skeleton with any seriousness at all. And I almost paid the price for it. I don't know what it was, but it was uh, quite dangerous. Oh, I accidentally cast Swiftness instead of... Uh, I'm not quite sure what I was trying to cast. Okay, Swiftness is E. Uh, Lightning Spire is F and Lightning Bolt is C. Um, let's get a Lightning Spire up here. Lightning Spire, please. And I'm not sure what happened to him. Uh, lightning Spire. Let's see what happens if we fire right through the Lightning Spire. Nothing. Good. We will continue to do that. Looks like our Lightning Spire is... is resistant to electricity. And... Here comes the fellow I was hoping to avoid. Okay, options. I think the best option is to recast the Lightning Spire here. Oh, oh that didn't work. I can't blink. Don't have any mana for Static Discharge. Uh, Scroll of Fear will probably do it. Good. And we'll just move out of the way here. Actually, let's just go upstairs. Get our mana back, and now we're in a better position to deal with these fellows here. And we will do so with lightning. Whew, that was close. Shield is up to five, we can turn it off. We will continue to train dodging. And let's get summonings up a little bit, since this Lightning Spire has saved my life so far multiple times. Uh, Robe of Cold Resistance. Do we have any resistances? Poison. You know, it's probably worth picking up, so let's just get it just in case. And here we have a shop. Crystal Ball of Energy we will not need. Um, might need it, or we might make use of it, but let's get our invocations up a little bit for uh, more efficient channeling. We have our repel missiles up, let's just uh, give a shout. Oops, our lightning spires disappeared. There we go. Good work, Lightning Spire. Now, without the Lightning Spire, I would be uh, pretty much forced to use my own Lightning. Which would make the game a little bit harder. It would appear that the, uh, that the Lightning Spire... Um, that his Lightning Bolts are, are quiet. It, they don't seem to be as loud. Uh, let's get out of here. That's a lot of rats. And I keep accidentally casting swiftness. I'm going to have to change. I'm going to have to change that key to something else. Or get used to it. Either way. Okay, we have our bounty of cheese here. Let's uh, feast on one or two of them to get rid of our burden status. Oh, we have more cheese, okay. Looks like we're going to have to make a temporary stash here, and let's make it a stash of books. 
I don't think there's anything else we need here, so we'll just drop all the books. And don't worry, we'll come back for them later. I wonder if the lightning spire will help me out here. Um, attack this, please. I know a canine familiar will. Probably best to keep a canine up with me at all times. And still no sign of the lair. Or the orcish mines. So this is getting into fairly dangerous territory now. It's about time to be concerned about invisible horrors. Let's try this scroll. Immolation, okay. Just make sure there's no enemies in sight. Just in case. Scrolls of Immolation have uh, killed me before. If I've uh, carelessly read them next to a rat and then killed the rat. So just uh, pay attention to that. Summonings is at 6. I'm not sure we need any more. Uh, let's go back to Conjurations. The lightning Spires at... 8%. Let's just get focus uh, dodging up to 9 or to 10. And then we can uh, worry about training something else. Ooh, six headed Hydra Simulacrum. That doesn't appear to be something we want to mess with. Okay, our lightning took it down. I think we'll go for static discharge here. No, oh, we don't have any mana. Then let's go upstairs. And again, whatever that skeleton was, it was uh, pretty powerful. It took a lot. Uh, it took a lot of health off me there. Even though it just looks like a newt skeleton. <clears throat> Be careful. Kind of feel bad about uh, slaying my faithful hound there, but you've got to be fairly ruthless when you play crawl. Okay, there's level 11. And the uh, presence of yaks on this floor leads to me to believe that the lair is close by. And that's a good thing. Okay, we're getting a little low on mana here. Luckily, our Static Discharge provided the killing blow there. I know there isn't a lot of graphical representation when you use some of these spells. Why do I keep going down the staircase? I'm going to go straight Static Discharge here. At least for the initial onslaught. Okay, now I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I think a Scroll of Fear is in order. And let's start uh, pegging these guys off. Okay, I've pushed that about as far as I'm willing to. I would really love to have a health potion here. I'm not going to take a chance though. 16 health, I'm going to call a familiar. Or uh, call a canine. And that at least has given us a little bit of a head start. I tried to cast a lightning spire but it failed. And there we go. 
It's a little early to get surrounded by yaks in this game. So let's avoid doing so in the future. I don't know what is making me think I'm more powerful than I am. My dodging isn't even at 10 yet. And uh, even a 10 dodge ability is unacceptable. For a late mid game. Okay. Let's do some decent work with our spire here. And uh, now let's run away. We're starving again. Thank God we're rich in cheese. Let's try this staircase. Okay, this one seems a little more reasonable. Let's get a spire up if we can. And stay well within its range. Now it's time to do static discharge. There we go. Excellent. I think Aspire will be able to handle this fellow. Uh oh, this is very dangerous. I'm heading back towards the stairs. We do not want to deal with an invisible orc priest. Okay. Let's just take it easy here and not overextend ourselves. We're near the entrance to the Orcish Mines. And that means there's a lot of Orcs that are going to come pouring out of here. Stay well within the range of our Lightning Spire. Pick up the shield, just in case it's better. Uh, no, our buckler is plus two. We will certainly keep that one. And what kind of book do we have here? Book of the Dragon. Not exactly what we were looking for. Uh, what can I drop? Wand of Slowing, let's get rid of that. And Wand of Lightning has been zapped six times. And Wand of Paralysis. <clears throat> Um, I don't really want to be in range of this fellow, but I don't have much of a choice. There we go. And that's alerted the remaining yaks to my presence. And luckily there was only one. So far. I'm sure we'll run into another yak patrol soon enough have here, random effects, that can be dropped. And there's the entrance to the lair. <clears throat> A yak patrol. Uh, we have six mana, okay. I finished him off with my static discharge, and there's a vampire mosquito. Another spire, and they're all dead. Those vampire mosquitoes like to travel in packs. Let's uh, duck into this corner and read this scroll. Enchant weapon 2, put it on the blowgun, and continue on. Down to the lair. Let's uh, clear out the entrance and try to keep it somewhat quiet. I don't know why I'm getting hungry so often. Am I mutated? No. Am I wearing a ring of hunger? No. 
Are my spells hungry? Yes. Okay, that will do it. Uh, might be time to train up spell casting soon, but let's get our dodging up to 10. Not that it really makes much of a difference. What are we at now? 9.5. Cursed ring. Let's remove the curse. Um, I'm tempted to identify it. Yeah, we might as well. Ring of sustenance. And we have a bonus. Identify. So we'll do a potion. I think the ring of intelligence is probably better to wear. So let's put it back on. And if this is a staff of air, I'll be very, very happy. It's a staff of poison. So we'll drop it. A staff of air would be uh, pretty useful. Not only would it enhance our spells, but it would also give us resistance to electricity. Which means we can use uh, spells like Conjure Ball Lightning. And uh, we can zap ourselves too. We can safely ignore our own lightning. A uh, Wand of Fire might come in handy. But we're starting to get burdened, so let's make a stash here on, on level 1. Um, I can't see us using the blowgun. Actually, I'll keep the blowgun. What we will drop are the poison javelins. Oh, might as well drop the wand of cold resistance for now. Um, we'll drop one wand of fire. We will drop the pears, the beef jerky, uh, 12 of the cheese, and the strawberries. Let's drop two remove curse, the enchant armors, the enchant weapons, one magic mapping, two magic mappings, one teleportation, and one fear. And what do we have here? I didn't even notice I picked this up, but we have an artifact amulet. Strength plus one. It probably does more than that, but we're going to have to wait until we get a scroll of identify. And I'm feeling a little lucky. Let's random quaff some potions. Potion of haste. Paralysis. Let's drop the rest of those. A heal wounds. Okay, that's what I was looking for. So, let's drop... I'm going to try P2. We can't have four mutation potions. Agility. Okay, I'm looking at B and L to possibly be mutation potions. So, we've pushed our luck far enough. Let's, um, let's drop some of these. Um, we can probably drop two potions of haste, uh, one potion of curing, the Brilliance, uh, two potions of agility, um, two potions of heal wounds, no, no, we'll keep all the potions of heal wounds. Okay, and that's lightened the load. Let's continue on. Blink Frogs. Our Lightning Spire will come in handy here. As will Static Discharge. And that provides a tasty snack. Dodging's almost up to 10. We are going to have to improve our spell power. We can get away with what we have for now, but things are going to get a little more difficult. Okay. Down to layer two. Jeweled Rod. This might come in handy. Rod of Destruction. Now what does this do? I think it just destroys. Yes, random bolts. Okay, we will keep that handy. That will come in useful 
if uh, we run into something that is immune to our air attacks. Uh, let's get out of here. I think it's time for swiftness. Oh, that was bad. Whew, okay. Let's eat a cheese and choose another staircase. We're going to have to do something about that spell hunger. Luckily, there's plenty of food in the lair. Aha, a book of alchemy. And nothing I want there. up some rings here, but what I would really like is some food. We're going to be starving very quickly. I'll eat a choco as they come in. Okay, dodging is at level 10. Let's turn that off for a little bit, get our spell casting up, and our air magic. <clears throat> this will have the added bonus of making our spells a little more accurate as well. I'm not sure what the formula is for that, but I've noticed that uh, Lightning Bolt gets a lot more accurate the more powerful it is. It tends to miss a lot at low uh, power and we're just a little past half there even static discharge has some ways to go let's try not to forget that we have the wand of haste and uh, that'll come in handy in case we have to get out of a bad situation hmm might be a good time to burn down the forest here Just keep an eye on our mana. And static discharge the rest of the way. And now, since we're out of mana, we can chop with our axe. And we pulled through. Only one yak left of corpse, so we'll eat him up. dead yet, are you? What can we hit him with? How about some fire? Okay, how about some cold? Alright, disintegration. More fire, there we go. I'm gonna drop conjurations for a little bit and get spell casting up. I'm tired of dealing with this hunger issue. back a little bit, see if we can get a zap in on him. We did. And that drove us to starvation. So we'll eat the pizza. Level 3. I'm going to try and use Static Discharge as much as possible to avoid the Spell Hunger. Um, let's pop a Spire down there. And we could be fairly certain that one or two of these Yaks will leave a corpse, so... I don't mind blasting a few Lightning Bolts. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, 
please die. I'm going to use Static Discharge. Whew, okay. That was too close for comfort. I'm sorry to waste this wand on a frog, but at this point I have to eat and heal up. Oh, and they just keep coming. I shouldn't be hunting that Hydra in these tight corners like this, so... Luckily he's wandered off somewhere. I have a feeling we'll be seeing that Hydra again, and there he is. Luckily he's far enough away to prepare for. So we'll double blast him with lightning, raise our intelligence, and rest up. Good, good, very good. And that will do it for level 3. Let's try on these rings. Ooh, plus 6 ring of dexterity. That's probably worth keeping. Our evasion's 21 with it. Uh, let's see what it is without it. Plus 3 ring of protection is probably worth keeping too. Our evasion only went up 2 with the ring of dexterity, so... I think we'll keep the plus 3 ring of protection on. And poison resistance will be useful here in the lair. Okay. Did we pick up any identify scrolls? Let's try this unidentified scroll. Silence. And one more scroll of identify. Uh, let's try B. Oh, oh, that's right. Let's also try our amulet. Stasis. Resist fire. The resist fire is nice, but I don't like that stasis effect, so let's take that off. Okay. So we're doing fairly well. Uh, we could use a few more identify scrolls. And I'm wondering if there's any in the shops. No. But uh, I'm sure we'll find some in uh, later episodes. For now, uh, we're going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.